Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas where I'm delighted to be joined by Patrick Donahue, Senior Director, Enterprise Strategy Innovation at FIS Global. Patrick, such a pleasure to sit down with you today. It's great to be here, Ryan. Thank you. Patrick, FIS Global unlocks how money is stored, moved, and put to work to create seamless experiences for clients, businesses, and the global economy. From your seat, how are the data and AI needs of clients in the financial services sector evolving? Yeah, it's a really uh, interesting question, Ryan, because uh, it's it's really dynamic right now. And I think from FIS's perspective is the world's largest fintech. Um, you know, we, we are seeing like Im immense change. I, I, for me personally, you know, you know, being in a, str a strategy role, having been doing this for a long time now, you know, over 20 years, I've never really kind of seen the pace of change that we see right now, uh, really being clearly driven by the capacity of the cloud, uh, all the tooling. I mean, it's, it's, it's great that we're here at reInvent, right? With, with AWS as one of our cloud providers, here with Snowflake, uh, an amazing partner. Uh, all that technology uh, coupled with FIS's kind of domain knowledge and our tight relationship with our clients is driving all of this change. Um, in terms of our strategy, I mean, we're really focused really in three areas. Uh, one is in you know cloud and modernization, right? Rethinking the applications that we've developed and in many, in many, many cases, re-engineering those applications to take advantage of the cloud, the capacity, the elasticity, the scalability. Um, but that also brings along the data modernization, right. right? Which is where, you know, our Snowflake partnership and our Snowflake strategy comes in. You know, not just offering, you know, additional analytics solutions, but thinking beyond that to, you know, moving towards automation and, and productivity with that data, AI and, and Gen AI. But then we're also thinking about, you know, innovation, right? And, and putting a new lens on that. So it's, it's, it's a pretty, it's pretty exciting time. There's a lot, there's a lot of changes being driven by the technology itself, right? So we think about, I mean, it's interesting we're at reInvent, right? So, re, you know, if we go back a couple of decades, you know, AWS are the ones who sort of, you know, made a decision, like everything they build has to be fronted by an API, right? So they began to unlock and open up that data. Uh, that, not, that didn't just change the solutions. I mean, from FIS's perspective, it's really creating new business models, right? So we're opening the data up. We're opening it up within our own walls as we serve clients with solutions. Our clients are opening it up. Um, we see this in banking, but also on the capital market side, right? We see a convergence of buy side and, and sell side. You know, by opening that data up, those on the buy side have access to, you know, expand their solution set and diversify, move into things that were traditionally on the sell side and vice versa, right? And so FIS is really leaning into that strategy and not just reacting to it, but trying to lead. Great perspective. Thank you for that, Patrick. How does the Snowflake AI data cloud make this a reality? Yeah, the the, the Snowflake data cloud and the Snowflake, Snowflake partnership is very, very important to FIS. It's a key to our strategy. Uh, when we think about providing the kinds of solutions that our clients are, are demanding and that they need to remain competitive, you really need a unified platform, right? So we have to be able to store, persist, transform, serve that data up in new and novel ways, modernize analytics, drive AI, and gen AI. Uh, so that, that you know, working with Snowflake a lot really puts the easy button on that for us. Um, and, it, and it's not just about you know, novel solutions, it's also about unlocking those, those data sets within our own organization allowing uh, you know, product teams from different parts of the organization uh, to be able to leverage data in new and interesting ways, merge data, bring it together. Uh, again, again, thinking back to what's happening in the industry with you know, convergence of buy side and sell side, with what's happening in digital, right, in digital banking, right? So the more we can bring data together internally and allow our product teams to, to be creative, right, the, the more value we can, we can provide. Um, a few examples, uh, one is really around scale. So you know, our, our training compliance manager solutions is, is one we've kind of been talking a lot about. Uh, and it, this is where you're talking about billions of records that we're having to process on an nightly basis and serve that reporting app for compliance purposes. You know, to be able to do that and, you know, two to 20 times faster with 20% less compute, right, is, is just a no brainer for us, right? And our, and our clients are, are singing our praises around being able to give them that kind of scale and performance. Um, thinking also about, um, you know, when, in the treasury space, uh, taking all the data that was you know, previously kind of in different places, bringing that together. The, the, our clients don't just want analytics and dashboards, they want the underlying data, right? right? So the ability to serve that back to them by data sharing uh, is just like, it's just a game changer for us. And then the third example uh, is uh, around investment analytics. So with our investment data platform, which is a solution we're very excited about, um, this is where we're taking you know, data from multiple investment accounting systems, bringing that together, um, you know, layering on 
uh, a common and powerful data model, uh, layering, layering master data management. So we're thinking not just about the data we have and towards a future where clients can bring data in uh, and analytics. And now we're able to provide a solution that is, uh, you know, no, one, no one's even able to provide, provide before. Great to hear, Patrick. I'd like to take a step back for a moment if you don't mind, and explore the financial services sector as a whole in relation to AI, what impact are you seeing this technology have and where do you expect it to continue to play a major role in the years to come? Uh, um, we, we think it's gonna have a tremendous impact. And now FIS, you know, given our size and scale, we're global, uh, showing functioning at the enterprise level with data, we've been doing AI for a long time, right? It's been a little more like tucked under the covers of our solutions and you know, providing additional value that, that maybe isn't seen in full. Certainly over the last couple of years with the advent of Gen AI, as like a UI for, for AI, um, it's sort of changing our, our clients' expectations, right, about what, what's possible. Uh, what's interesting is, is as, we, as we kind of take AI and Gen AI and we point it at different business problems we've, we've tried to solve in the past, uh, some of the more pesky data problems, we're really surprised at how well it works, right, and, and what it can do. Uh, which also lights our clients up, right? So we think there's gonna be a big impact in terms of lifting all the boats in terms of the, the actual UX of AI, um, which is gonna put AI into, into, the, into the finger principally all of our clients and their end users. Um, but there's also a, a play with productivity, right? So what, what I, the, one of the key things our clients are telling us is that they see this as an opportunity to drive productivity within, within their organization. Uh, so making their current employees more productive. Um, and that's where I think the data and AI fit together so nicely and why the the Snowflake you know, partnership is so beneficial to us because we have the, this AI capability sitting right next to the data. Uh, again, going back to our developers, it's very easy for us then to have a productionalized environment, right? That we can push things directly through into, into production, has also all the security, has, has all the bells and whistles that we need in terms of models and, and frameworks. Uh, and we can quickly develop solutions that move the needle for our clients. Craig here very much sounds like a, a true trifecta. For over 50 years, FIS has continued to drive growth for clients around the world by creating tomorrow's technology solutions and services to modernize today's businesses and customer experiences. How is your data strategy preparing the business for the next decade, Patrick? Yeah, I mean, the, the way we think about this is, uh, is that we're future-proofing the strategy for our clients. So, uh, you know, we, we, we're focused on cloud modernization, data modernization, and then that allows us to be ready for whatever comes. I mean, sir, I mean clearly, it, I don't remember the date, November 22nd, 2023, I think it was, uh, where, you know, where we saw you know, ChatGPT drop and the world really changed, right? Um, but, but there's gonna be something in the future, right? Or it's gonna be a merging or melding of different technologies that now our clients need to respond. They need us to respond. Um, so by, by having our, uh, you know, a commitment to modernizing in the cloud, getting the scale and the performance and security, and then having the right data architecture, allows us to be ready for whatever comes next. And so that's how we, that's how we approach it. Um, we also spend a lot of time talking to our clients about our journey, right, with modernization, our journey with AI. We don't just give them solutions to purchase. We tell them what, how we've structured our own approach. Uh, we spend a lot of time talking about governance, for instance, like how do we, like what's, what's, what's been our journey to, you know, to think about how to go forward in this new world. So we spend a lot of time talking about governance. We, you know, the governance framework was already in place for us. It's not something that's new. We're in a you know, highly regulated industry. We just then take that and we go to the next level. Great to hear, always there, putting your customers first for anything they need. Patrick, as you look out over the coming months, what do you feel are the key drivers for data and AI that our audience should be aware of? Yeah, there's really four or five things that we're kind of monitoring, keeping an eye on, being watchful for. One is just the, the pace of change. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, the pace of, New, new systems, new models, different ways of swizzling models, the agentic approaches. It feels like every day there's something new. And so I think this is where choosing your partners is really important. Uh, and these were our strategies, I think earned us the right to be our client's partner. Uh, you know, we're partnering with Snowflake uh, as a key enabler for us. You know, your partners can help you sort of navigate this, this space, but it can be challenging to sort of make a start and the next day there's a big announcement and the whole world shifts again. So I think, um, you know, working with uh, our clients carefully on what use cases matter to them, uh, working in an agile fashion, starting small, building from there, um, I think is really key. Um, the other thing that we're noticing is there's an industrialization of AI that's happening, right? You see that with uh, the way Snowflake is rolling out AI, the way it's becoming central, right, to the entire platform. There, you know, we're not gonna, as, as FIS, gonna solve all these problems technically, right? We're gonna lean on 
the the scale the scalers right like like the like a data scaler like like snowflake um but the um you know each of these pieces whether it's thinking about the groundedness of the models um thinking about um you know the guardrails uh you know thinking about uh you know how do you monitor these solutions all these pieces are getting you know built out uh and industrialized so that companies like like fis can really take advantage of this to create new solutions and the other thing is just being you know watchful for the the macro level forces and the geo level forces that um there's you know there it can have an impact right and also you know we have a new administration so thinking about how the regulatory environment might work fis is global so we're also thinking about the other regions but you know, yeah, as, as, as that change comes, again, it goes back to, you know, having the right partners. Well, Patrick, such a pleasure sitting down with you here in Las Vegas. Thanks for having me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.